Wow. That set, that second set. I, I mean, it, it was what a wild reaction after after you were down five love. You were up match point. You let it go. I mean, you were your your hand was in your head next to your coach. How how on earth did you turn it around after that? I mean, yeah, I was uh, yeah, as you can probably see. Like I wasn't <laughs> too too happy with the, with the end result of the second set. But I mean, Sebi, you know, Sebi played some really really good shots. I mean, he's such a such a great player. You know, he's he's a great fighter. So. Yeah, I mean, I was disappointed with the, with the way the set ended. So I was just okay. Took a bathroom break. Took uh, you know, just just went there. Okay, you know, look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, okay, I just let's do this. Just come on, just uh, you know, you give it. You're gonna give it all, and uh, you try your best, and you know, you see it. Just uh, win or lose, you're gonna go out there and then battle as hard as you can, and just uh, so you see, you leave it all. So you gave yourself a good talk in the bathroom, like Novak says. Novak goes in there, he gives himself a good talk. You did the same thing. I yeah, I tried to. You know, it's just <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just uh, you know, you definitely you know need to reset your your mind. You know, you cannot you know hang in the in the past. You know, with the okay, like you had the opportunity, it didn't go your way, but it's just uh, really important, and it's uh, it's not easy to do. Like to okay, just to move uh, move forward and then stay in the present moment. You guys have played some very tight matches this year in Australia, mm -hmm. in Shanghai, here, another really brutally tight mm -hmm. one. And there are not many margins indoors, especially when you both mm -hmm. serve so big. He made a couple of adjustments in moving back mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. to return your serve. Mm -hmm. When you see him doing like that, did you did you adjust anything on your side? I mean, yeah, you adjust. You, you know, you get used to the new look on the, on the serve. And, like, obviously, you know, standing back, you, you're you going to have a little bit more time. So, so the beginning, okay, you... Just, just, just gotta watch the ball and, and you know, don't, don't be like in front of it, because, because you're gonna have more time. You know, he, he'll definitely, you know, try to, just, just keep moving, uh, zigzagging forward, you know, to, 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 to get the momentum and the, get the court positioning, because, because ultimately, you know, if he wanted to stay back there and running back there, that would be a good, good spot. But uh, yeah, that, 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 was, that wasn't his plan for sure. Hubie, you've been having a sensational fall. You, you picked up another Masters 1000 in Shanghai. You made the final in Basel last week. What, what do you think are the best things that are working for you now mentally and, and tennis-wise? I think, uh, yeah, I mean, after, you know, after US Open, which is, uh, you know, a little bit <laughs> disappointing for me, I, uh, we, we definitely, you know, put in the work. We had, I uh, went to Labor Cup, which was really, really cool experience. And uh, then I was practicing for a week before Shanghai, and we just, you know, the team were, were giving it all out there just to you know just to and also like mentally just to you know really you know really f to focus on the on the right things on the on when you're on the court when you're battling you know not necessarily always on the you know result or but on the you know what what you want to do on the court and that's uh you know be, we've been trying you know to just just step by step get to get better at it and was uh yeah just just We'll try to continue to do it here. One of the things we've been love uh, uh, watching you do, uh, and you have a great all-round game, is it seems like you're attacking the net quite a bit more. We're seeing a bit more serve and volley from you. Has it been a conscious decision to add that a bit more to your game? Yeah, I mean, sometimes randomly, just... <laughs> no, no, but... I'm, throw it in once in a while. Yeah, I just throw it in, okay. I just, uh, yeah. No, I'd say, like, you know, consciously, like, obviously, like, I have a... You know, decent serve. So, so if I can, you know, take advantage of the of the short balls and put more more pressure on on the opponents, and uh, you know, can hit sometimes some volleys. So it's uh, it's okay. You, no, it's you, a, you can quit that humble stuff. Okay, not a decent serve. That's a bomb that you got over there. It, it, wherever you play, that's a bomb. Uh, Yubi, you're up to number nine now in the race, uh, pushing in on Turin. Is that is that playing in your mind when you when you were fighting in today? I mean. I mean, ultimately, you know, it's this one is the last big event of the year, and uh, you know, a lot of guys gonna you know, try to play as good as they can. But uh, you know, ultimately, you know, the, there are those are things in the back of your head. But uh, if you if you wanna win, you gotta just just focus, you know, on the on the ball in front of you. So, uh, yeah. Well, listen, it wasn't easy to do today, but uh, you're very much alive in that race for Turin. So we're going to let you get some recovery and uh, all the best of luck, my man. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Always, always. Hubie Herkoc moving on in another very tough contest against the talented American Sebi Korda. He needed three sets, but the big serving pole got it done.